What's up YouTube? It is Jay, aka That So Jay, and this video is all about my first YouTube check, my story of getting monetized, and I'm gonna tell you guys how much my first YouTube check was and just a little bit about my YouTube journey. So for those of you that do not know, I have been on YouTube since 2015. So yes, ah, you heard that right. I have been on YouTube for five years now. So it took me five years to get um not mm, i would say it took me five years to get a official youtube check and i think i watched um i watched one of my favorite youtubers patricia bright and she said the same thing like it took her five years and i think a lot of times with youtube um we watch so many of our famous youtubers that have all these big deals and we think like wow we don't really consider how long these people have been on youtube what their journey was like and we think that sometimes it's gonna happen overnight because hey i watched a youtube girl who literally her first video had a million views so everybody's journey is different and today i want to talk to you guys about my journey and yeah just from the beginning to now of my youtube channel how i got paid how to set up your google adsense and all of that so if you're interested then keep watching all right you guys so let's get right into the video so i learned that ah, when i first started out on youtube my very first video and i'm like pulling up my first video for you guys so i released my very first youtube video on i know it was july because it was my birthday duh um july 8th 2015 so when i first did my when i first started with youtube um I didn't know anyone personally that had a YouTube channel um, at the time. Like, you know, a lot of big people had YouTube, but it wasn't as popular how it is today. Like now, pretty much everybody I know has a YouTube channel. So I was literally going around campus with my vlogging camera, which I had bought after I got my first refund check my senior year. And then I was just, you know, an HBCU college vlogger. I was obsessed with Jayla Corian back in the day. I still love her channel, but um, her, uh, I think, Breland who was um, Beauty and Brains, like I loved their like, you know, they were at HBCUs, just sororities, they were in dance, I was a cheerleader. So that was pretty much the start of my channel. And from there, I just, you know, grew my channel throughout my whole year and I was not getting paid. I was literally just doing it for fun, my, doing it for fun. My channel was not monetized or anything yet at the time. And then of course, where happened? Oh, so, once I graduated, I just kept going. At first, I almost stopped my channel because I was like, what am I going to talk about? My whole, like, concept of my channel was pretty much me being a college vlogger. So, I just continued to share my journey as an adult. And I think that goes for, like, my advice to a lot of small YouTubers or people starting a YouTube channel. It's like... Just talk about your passion. If you love cooking, you know, talk about that. Don't be discouraged if there's already a million cooking vlogs. There's so many girls that talk about hair and beauty and fashion. And best believe, I watch every last one of them. So I think to me, um, just sharing my passion about being an author, being a speech pathologist. You know, I loved being at my HBCU and all of those things. I felt like just allowed me to grow my subscribers, you know, throughout the years um getting paid so fast forwarding um pretty much you know i i'm not gonna say like you have to definitely keep like showing your passion on youtube but also to the fact of like i was never like oh my god i gotta get paid on youtube oh my god i'm doing this for a check like it was literally just me genuinely showing content and i decided to monetize that myself by promoting my business starting my consultation business so that was pretty much how i was making like my own income from youtube aside from before my channel actually got monetized all right so going into the monetization so a couple years ago youtube kind of made it a little i don't want to say harder but put like different requirements so in order to get paid on youtube you must have 1000 subscribers so that is like the requirement it does not matter if you have a video on your channel that has 500,000 views or you have a million views on this one video if you do not have 1,000 subscribers YouTube pretty much is like oh well after that you need to have 4,000 watch minutes so the 4,000 watch minutes is that just making sure that people are actually sitting and watching your videos for a decent amount of time this means that if you have a channel and people are kind of like watching the first five minutes and then clicking out then that's not going to count so just and like i said there are videos 
more so that breakdown youtube analytics and things like that i'm just kind of going over the basics of what are the main requirements so once you have that you have the subscribers you have the 4,000 watch minutes um youtube will basically send you an email which says like hey you qualify to um, get monetized and basically you're going to be able to run ads so when you see when you go when you're watching people's youtube videos and you're noticing like a bunch of ads popping up that's pretty much how they're collecting revenue you're collecting revenue from those ads some people have ads at the beginning some people have ads all throughout the video and i know we'll watch videos and we're really into it and we'll get annoyed but hey those youtubers gotta make money <laughs> somehow so that is why you see so many ads because that's kind of how they're collecting their revenue so moving forward you need to make a google adsense account and i'll put the link to google adsense in the description box but you need to make a google adsense account it's pretty much how you are going to get paid so you're getting paid pretty much through google and not so much through like youtube but technically through google i don't know if that made a lot of sense but so that's how you get paid so when you go to google adsense you set up your account you put your information in your name your address you fill out like your tax information and honestly as soon as you get monetized i recommend doing this i waited um till my channel was actually collecting money to do this and it took them that's a whole nother story but so make sure you're ahead of the game and you already have a google adsense account like ready Okay, so the next thing Google AdSense is going to do, they're going to send you the verification information in the mail. Now, due to COVID, this took me months to receive. So, like I said, my, like, YouTube checks kind of were delayed, but it did not matter to me because they just kind of kept building up. So, it's a good thing. But, so, pretty much, they're going to send you your Google AdSense check, and this is a check that you guys see everyone posting in their YouTube videos. When they send you this, they'll give you a verification code, which is like a four digit number, I believe. And you have to basically put that information in and then your account will be verified to where you can start getting paid. So that was a lot of information, I know. <laughs> so in order to get paid, you also need to make sure, like I said, this goes back to your analytics. When you're checking your analytics, you need to be making sure that you're making at least $100 a month on YouTube. So that's how much revenue. And I'm going to... um show you guys that revenue part of like checking your youtube analytics which is like i promise y'all youtube analytics and understanding that just like instagram analytics is like a whole video within itself so one thing another thing that youtube does is you, youtube pays you once a month so once you've collected that revenue you're over that 100 dollar threshold that's when you will start getting paid and basically i have mine set up direct deposit so youtube pays once a month so this is not like a, oh, I'm getting paid every week, I'm getting paid every two weeks. Nope, you gotta make sure that that 30 days that your channel was accumulating um, over $100. And like I said, that revenue, how much you get paid from YouTube kind of varies, but I'm gonna show you guys my first YouTube check, how much money I made. And yeah, you guys can look at that. I'm gonna pull up the screen so you guys can see that. That's a lot. I honestly felt like that was pretty decent. Um, do I feel like it was? It took me a couple years to make that amount, <laughs> but I think at the end of the day, it just kind of is a start. And I think once you start to see, like, wow, this is something that started out as a hobby. This is something that I, you know, was just doing for fun, sharing my passion, and now I'm getting paid for it. Um, it does feel really good inside, and to me, I definitely want to keep going. I don't think I'll ever want to just only do YouTube and be a full-time YouTuber because my YouTube channel is about the other things that I do in my life. So I don't see me like getting rid of those things. But um, yeah, so that is pretty much um, how much I made, how much I'm making right now as a small YouTuber. As you guys can see, like, you know, once you have those subscribers, once you're getting those um those watch minutes and accumulating money you don't need to have a hundred thousand subscribers or fifty thousand views on every video to make money from youtube you can honestly make money from youtube while being a small youtuber like i only have five thousand subscribers i get a couple thousand views my highest video has about fifty thousand views so i'm not someone that has like these crazy amount of views but 
you know i get a lot in comments i get a lot of you know likes on my videos and it's just you know i'm constantly interacting with people constantly promoting my channel on all social media platforms constantly telling people that i have a youtube channel and just making sure i'm putting out good content um if you don't know what to talk about on youtube like i said just think about things that you like things that you want to share um just being genuine on youtube being yourself i think the biggest thing that i noticed with youtubers as that check as that money starts to come in and they start to make more money on youtube i think the biggest issue is that people start to get cocky and they start to kind of like do a lot of clickbait and a lot of silly things so i would say <laughs> y'all are hearing it from me first i thought i had to cough <laughs> I want to continue to grow my channel. I want to be the same girl that I was back in 2015 when I had my camera on campus. I don't, you know, of course I want to grow and show you guys more, but um, I just really promise to be a genuine YouTuber <laughs> and to keep up with the good content, you know, investing in my channel. That's something that I would recommend for people is like, you know, I'm talking in front of a $500 camera. I have camera stands that I've bought so many off of Amazon. I've invested in this channel. So, and I want to continue to work hard. My advice to everyone, you know, watching this video is to continue to work hard and don't feel like this is something that needs to happen within a year or two. Like I'm stressing to you guys, it took me five years and I'm pretty sure it's taken some people more than that. It's taken some people less than that, but hey, your journey is your journey. It is all in God's timing. Yes, I'm Christian. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I will continue to do my authorpreneur series, my grad school series, and just more lifestyle travel vlogs. And we'll see what else my channel has in store. Um, 2020 has just been a big year for me despite everything that's going on in the world like i've continued to push through and work hard on my business work hard in school work hard on this channel and i just want to be that person to motivate you if you needed that push right now if you needed someone to confirm that what's meant for you is about to come or to keep going for it that is why i made this video so thank you guys so much for watching if i did not answer something i know this video probably isn't super long but if I did not answer something in this video and you want to know more about like the Google AdSense or getting monetized, I tried to cover everything. I might have to do another video kind of breaking down the YouTube analytics. But like I said, I don't have like crazy <laughs> analytics. Like y'all see my views and subscribers and things like that. So um, let me know if you want a more detailed video or yeah. And so thank you guys so much for watching.